Okay, I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough of the uh, graphics um, that the eCabinet Systems Cabinet Design and um, Shop software has to offer. It is a free software offered through Thermwood Corporation. Uh, Thermwood is a manufacturer of uh, CNC routers for the cabinet and furniture industry, and the software is available online at um, eCabinetSystems.com. Uh, you can just do a Google search for it. It is a free download. Um, they just basically there's a form you kind of fill out, just giving some general basic information, and then um, you get a link, um, which will actually give you. Uh, the link for the download for the software. Um, it's a fairly hefty size download. I want to say it's probably uh, probably 800 megabytes, if not more. And then the updates typically, I think we're running around probably anywhere from 150 to 200 to, to probably 200 megabytes um, for basically for the the new newer versions and builds that come out. So right now this is the um, e cabinet systems uh, version six build number eight and I just opened up a drawing here I recently did and uh, this basically here is uh, just the actual um, just a generic rendering drawing um, right now it's just in 2d but I can actually turn it into 3d just by manip manipulating the mouse and um, so here it is and you can uh, color coordinate different items of the drawing in a different color. For example, the wall cabinets here are in a uh, white. And then the um, assemblies that I've made, whether it be a special cabinet or if it be a fixture like a sink or a faucet, is uh, in this case kind of a purple color. Countertops in this case are kind of a, a turquoise or teal green. And then... Um, this particular countertop is a different color because it's actually not a countertop, it's what they call a display cube. Um, basically it's just a form that the software recognizes that you can basically turn into whatever you want, whether it's a, a solid piece of wood, uh, basically all this is representation. But you'll see here when I turn to the rendering format, you'll see how it all turns out. And the base cabinets are obviously kind of like a, a beige color. So um, here I can just basically by using the uh, left mouse button, the shift key and the keyboard, and just moving the mouse around in any different axis, I can get uh, different um, views. So here I can kind of look through the doorway here a little bit. And then by uh, pushing both the left and the right mouse button down and the um, shift key, by moving the mouse backwards I can zoom in, by moving the mouse forwards I zoom out. So take a little bit closer peek here. You can see some cabinets here. Got a uh, refrigerator, dishwasher, and here's uh, some wine bottle nook, drawer, base cabinet, sink base, and if I can rotate ever so slightly, oop, there we go. Another base cabinet, and this one's actually a double base. So now we'll go into the a uh, little bit more of a realistic view of rendering. And the best way to do this is before you click the actual uh, render button or preview button, uh, it's best to get in the best position because um, I have to say that. Uh, once you get into the uh, render mode here, um, the graphics are pretty graphic and uh, takes a lot of uh, power from your hard drive and your graphics cards. So, Alright, so that's pretty good for now. So click the render button up here. And now this is semi-render. This is not still the best quality by no means, but this is still, and this is kind of what I would have normally expected for some free software. But as you can see here, um, remember this particular part was kind of like a greenish yellow color, but as you see it's the same color as the countertop. Basically what I did was I just created it and, and fooled it, making it think it's a countertop. Visually, it looks like a countertop, but as far as the software is known, it's known as a display object. And here's some paneling across the back. Um, the one disadvantage with this particular software is 
it does not give you the option to do raised panel sides or raised panel backs. Um, you can create raised panel backs by basically going into a different part of the program. Uh, yes, the cabinet and assembly editor. There, basically, you can just create a door, and then you can stack different doors together to create kind of like a raised panel back or uh, raised panel sides or whichever. And it's quite tedious, but that's one of the probably the only disadvantages I really don't like about the program. But then again, it's free. So, all right. So here's a little bit better review. And. See if I can zoom in here a little bit. It's a little bit better now. If I can go in here. Oops, this is kind of an interesting deal here. This particular item right where my mouse cursor is pointing to is actually not a cabinet. Um, well, I should take it back. It's actually not what it appears to be. It's supposed to be a, a wine bottle refrigerator, but it actually is. It's a cabinet that I had custom designed and slipped it inside uh, the opening of the cabinet. I got the specs from the um, customer and... Um, why don't you just go away there? Okay, I got the specs from the customer and uh, was able to basically create a frameless cabinet and uh, give it a paint color of black with a glass door. And to the uh, visual, to the person or the customer looking at it, they don't know any different. It's you know, it's not a cabinet or that's it's not an actual appliance. It's um, it gives an appearance of what they're looking for, but it's not actually it. The only, dis or the only thing you got to be careful of is when you do your cutlass, you got to make sure that you take this cabinet or the cutlass. Otherwise, you will get a cutlass for this particular, uh, what looks to be a wine refrigerator is actually a cabinet. So, excuse me. So, let me zoom out a little bit here. The other thing you can do, too, is uh, if you have a slower computer, if you right-click here, it will ask you about rendering. Uh, let's see here, render mode. And we'll do always in wireframe while moving. So now when I want to move it, it'll automatically turn to wireframe, so therefore the, uh, the graphics card doesn't have to try and keep up. See, it just moves so much easier. Oops. And it doesn't always work. It might depend on the graphics card, too. So now if I really like this view, I can take it one step further. Let's try that. Now, if you go over to the left side here, you see Enhanced View. Click that. You can see how the wood grain... Let me toggle back and forth. See how you got the highlighted wood grain up here? It's kind of dull down here. And if you click Enhanced View, now it's more consistent. Okay? Here's another one called Presentation View. This is the one that really makes it pop. Now, this will take a little bit to produce this. So bear with me. Oh, actually, it went pretty quick. and I know why it went pretty quick. Um, I did not install any light fixtures. Let's try that again here. Okay. This is about the second best as it'll get. There's one more way of making this really shine out, kind of like a portrait or a photograph or a real live image, is you can actually add light fixtures above the actual show area here and actually get reflections or what looks like reflections off the cabinetry, off the countertop, off the appliances, even off the floor. Um, a lot of times I do that. For this one in particular, I didn't just because of how realistic it came out this time. Um, it definitely, you know, if you get the light fixtures placed in the right spot, you can definitely have a, a even better looking image. But this is actually really good, you know, for a free software. So the disadvantage is with the light fixtures. If you don't have them positioned properly, I, you can have what I call hot spots on the floor. You actually get like a really shiny spot on the floor that is really bright, and but it doesn't show off a lot of light in the rest of the show area. 
Um, you can also uh, hide the light fixtures as well. So you have the light in the room, but the light fixtures aren't actually displayed in the image. So, so anyways, that is kind of a real brief uh, idea of the graphics that uh, eCabinet Systems puts out. Um, I will do another tutorial later on on basically designing cabinets and then also placing them in the room. But I just wanted to take a moment just to show the graphics capabilities of the eCabinet Systems cabinet and furniture design software. Thanks for watching. Thank you.